or a teleutop this is how so this week i'm going to show you how you can make a fake drum room reverb using just cubase stock plugins all right so here i have a drum mix so let's check it out Now I want to create a drum room reverb because this one doesn't have it. As you can see, there's only kick, snare, snare sample, overheads, and two toms. So let's make a new effects track and reverb and room works SE. And we'll want to change the mix to 100% because it's a send. If it would be an insert, you would use the mix to whatever feels good. What we'll do is that we'll take the snare sample and we will send that to that room works. And what we'll do is that we will solo just the room works. So we will hear only the snare sample going through this room works reverb. And what we'll do is that we will reduce the reverb time to minimum and the free delay to minimum. And we'll start from here and then we'll work our way up until we think that the room sounds good. Alright, so we'll just slowly increase the reverb time until we find that it sounds okay. At least now it sounds like it's shifting in the stereo field for me. And now it sounds like it's having some phase issues, so I'm trying to find something that sounds good. Okay, that sounds cool. It's not too long, it's not too short. That's cool. Okay, let's just leave it be. There's not much of a change there. So on the pre-delay, so what should you use here? Because if we know that the, the speed of sound is about 340 meters per second, so that means 340 meters per second divided by milliseconds, so that's 0.34 per millisecond. So if you want our room sound to be about 3 meters, we'll, if it's 8 milliseconds it's about 3 meters away if it will be room max so we'll use that for example all right and then what we'll do is that we'll now turn on the snare sample and it kind of sounds like a room all right At least for me, I usually always compress my room mic. So let's do the same thing here. Let's take a compressor, uh, auto release, fastest attack. Uh, yeah. So let's see. I need more reverb. Right, so then we'll cut do the basic, you know, EQ stuff. So just high pass and okay, 
that's okay. Then let's see if we need some more high end. Yeah, it's there and there if you need that high end boost, but let's see it in the context. So let's then send that to the parallel compressor also, so we'll see how much we need that stuff there. And then it's also send some more. So let's check out the overheads, for example. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And without the reverb, turn it off. But yeah, you know, just just a starting point, and you need a context to hear how it really sounds. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I make new videos every week. Thank you for watching. I'm making music.